good morning. I hope you're having a blessed start to your day today and looking forward to some great things from the Lord and uh, an opportunity to work for the Lord today in some way, shape, or form. Uh, we should not waste a day or an opportunity, if at all possible, to share Him with somebody, maybe an unbeliever or maybe even a believer who needs encouraging. And so let's make every opportunity count today for our Lord. I want to talk to you this morning from James chapter 1, verse 6 and 7 and 8. Verse 6, 7 and 8. And listen to what Paul, I mean, uh, not Paul, James is talking about here about an unstable person. It says, in, starting in verse 6, But let him ask in faith with no doubting, for he who doubts is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind. For let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is dub a double-minded man, unstable in all of his ways. Uh, it says a double-minded person is spiritually conflicted and therefore unsettled in all ways. True faith in the Lord, it says, produces people who are stable in the Lord. They're rooted in the Lord. They're standing firm on the, on the Word of God looking only to God for the wisdom that they need, it says, knowing that he will respond. That person that is unstable in his work, for the, in his living for the Lord, it says, our faith wavers when apply human thinking to our circumstances. <laughs> you know, sometimes, folks, we have to admit as humans that our thinking ain't that good as it needs to be. Sometimes God may require us to do something with which human reasoning disagrees. We may not say, the Lord may tell us to do something, and we'll say, Lord, that's not possible. Or I can't do that. I don't want to do that. And we can't be that way. When God wants us to do something, regardless of how he says it's to do it, it's going to work. God never sets us up to fail. Allows our, we allow our feelings to overcome our faith. And sometimes we're all guilty of that, I'm sure. I know I have sometimes probably... Let that happen in my life. Our feelings overcome our faith and causes us to doubt when the Lord asks us to do something. Fail to see God at work in our circumstances. It says doubts creep in when we have asked him to take action, but nothing appears to be happening. You know, sometimes God is working on our, in our request, our prayer request for a loved one to be saved or somebody to be healed or a need to be met. God's working sometimes behind the scenes, you know. Uh, we know a lot of things that we see go on in this world today, maybe a, 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 a something great happening, and there's somebody out front talking about it and how things are going to go, and that's all we see. We think, well, man, he must be pretty good. But you know what? It's the people behind him that's doing all the work. That's the unseen person that usually is doing the good works and stuff like that. This person just goes out front, but sometimes that's as far as we look. But see, Jesus sometimes has got things working behind the scenes that we know nothing about. We should not let doubt creep in our life, especially our prayer life, when we don't see nothing happening. And it says, have guilt over sin, past or present. Our faith can't be strong if we still feel guilty. Listen, when God saves you, He forgives and forgets. God will never bring those sins up again. And I think sometimes people, uh, God will forgive them and they'll accept that, but they won't forgive their self. Listen, folks, we've all, we all, every person has a past. We started out in this life in sin and until we gave our heart and life to the Lord, sometimes we did things that we're not proud of. Sometimes we did things that we shouldn't have done. We're all guilty of it. But when Jesus forgives, you and I must forgive ourselves. Go on. Put that in the past. Don't look back there. I, we talked about that the other night in a Bible study. How bad we are sometimes to go back and think about some of the things we used to do. Somebody will get to talking about that living it, that's living in sin, talking about something they did over the weekend. We'll go, yeah, man, I remember when I... We should never go back and do that. Put it behind you. Don't bring it back to memory. And if the devil tries to, rebuke him and get it out of your memory. Folks, our faith must be strong. We must be firm in our standing for the Lord and in our believing of what God is able and capable of doing and will do for us. Don't become that person whose faith is weak 
whose faith is wavering today, I pray. Lord, thank you today that we can have a firm faith in what you will do for us and what you shall do for us. And Lord, what you're waiting to do for us. We must put the past behind us, forgive ourselves, and stand firm on your word today that you are a God of your word. Thank you, Lord, today. Give us that firmness that we need in our belief with you, that our faith will not be wavering in any way, shape, or form. In Jesus' name I pray today. Amen. Folks, may God richly bless you today. And again, thank you for the comments you leave and for the way you watch these devotions. It means a lot to me. May God richly bless you today is my prayer.